Good Monday morning, everybody. It's your wake up call. Wake up call. It's 5 p.m. on Monday. CCSN day. Woo! Yeah, we got the hype going for you guys. Woo! It's Monday. All right, who we got here? Everyone starts coming in. There we go. When you guys pop on in, introduce yourselves, give a shout out. Bob, it's always good to see you. How was your weekend, Bob? Hope you are well. That means Miguel will probably be popping up here sooner or later. Bob, what's up with you, man? Oh, Haley, good morning. Good morning. Thank you very much for joining us this easily at this early. <laughs> at least it's early for you. It's almost done for us. It's too early. <laughs> John Rupp, thank you for calling us. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You have pneumonia, Bob? Dude, are you okay? Are you doing all right? Are you resting? Please reply back. I am concerned now. It's never a good thing to hear. Eric Hart, welcome to the group. Also, uh, if everyone who uh, saw us uh, this weekend, I'd like to give a special shout out to Haley, who did an amazing performance video for us to open the show. So everyone around applause to Haley. She really worked hard. She really gave her her all. Her and I were messaging back and forth uh, all last weekend to get this done. And um, bless your heart, you did really did an amazing job. Great video. And Thank you very much. So everyone, a round of applause. Congratulations to Haley, please. All right. Who we got here? Dan. She did rock it, Bob. She did. It, she, she really put her heart and soul in it. And I love the little um, change up she did with the costumes. So got a couple of fun stuff. Crucial Con was crazy for us. Um, I've seen all the comments and the messages you guys are saying, so I'm glad we can put something on like that for three days. That is just fun, giving you a lot of information. Um, I'll show you, we have one hour left for the Crucial Con exclusives, uh, including the instant edition. So I need anyone who has been hemming and hawing, you got exactly, oh, 50 minutes to get your orders in. Let's do this, let's do this. David Ortiz, thank you for joining us. <laughs> Eric, I'm glad you watched it too. Look at that, Haley. You got a whole new set of fans just from that video. So, And Haley, you did an amazing job. Don't sell yourself short at all. That was really, really good. Hey, we had to get uh, messages done and we had to get the communication going. You're on the other side of the world in a whole different time zone. You're in the future, so it's well worth it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Anthony Romero, okay. Couple things we uh, talked about on at Crucial Con, which I want to bring the camera around so I can show you guys these. Um, the Lady Death Majestic statues. Matthew Davis, hi, how are you? We are going to be, we announced these early, but we are going to be doing a Kickstarter for the pre order of these beautiful statues. And that'll be in May 2021. They're 15 inches tall. Joel Allard is the art director. Tim Miller and Sam Greenwell are sculptists, painted by Jason Wires, based on the art of Richard Ortiz, and produ produced by Coffin Collectibles. That's us. Woo, look at these. Some of you folks have seen these, but these are absolutely beautiful. <laughs> The plethora of links to your PMs. Okay. Eric, expect a lot of those. There we are. This is beautiful. It's one hellish heavenly. These are just beautiful. I've been, um, I helped put these together with Jimmy over a year ago. Um, yeah, so it's nice to see that the production is going. Price to be announced, Bob. To be announced. Daryl, how are you? Oh, my God. How are you doing, Daryl? How was your weekend? Hope it was well. 
So these are going to go on pre-order on Kickstarter, May 20, May 2021. Oh my God, we're all heading into 2021. Thank God. Let's get 2020 out of here. Yeah, Miguel. What's up, Miguel? Miguel's joined us all. <laughs> Estimate? I have no idea. All I know is they're gorgeous. But crazy gorgeous. And then some other stuff we had talked about. Deathocalypse. Still one of the coolest sworn chasms for all. <laughs> all right, Daryl. You get the quote of the day. That is amazing. Okay, so starting March 2021, we have Lady Death, Cataclysmic Majesty. These are the crossovers. No, all three are going to be offered at the same time. Second chapter in this massive crossover we're doing, La Muerta Onslaught, followed by Lady Death, Sacrificial Annihilation, and everyone's favorite, October 2021, Hell Witch versus Lady Death, Wargasm. Yeah, that is a pretty groovy name and it fits us perfectly. And I'm glad we're sticking with it. So that's what's coming up next year here at Coffin Comics. Um, they even had uh, some samples of the art. I don't have any of those on me right now. But this is one of the things we mentioned at Crucial Con. Another thing that we're doing too is... October 16th is the deadline for the Lady Death Local Comic Shop Metal Editions. This is a Chaos Rules. This is the number one. Um, they are $100 each, and this is for a charity. So no discounts allowed. We're raising money for local comic shops um, since they've been hit really hard this year with the shutdowns and all the other stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Miguel. <laughs> Uh, I'm here for you all week. Ha ha. W E A K. Ha. Bad dad joke. Okay. So if you're interested in these and uh, local comic shops, that's where I came from. That's what I did for 25 years before I um, was very honored to now work for Coffin Comics and I got to meet all you wonderful, beautiful people. So right here, $100. Um, these are going to support local comic shops. So get them. Order. They are available to order until October 16th when we'll be stopping that and producing those mini books. So support local comic shops by supporting the Lady Death Chaos Rules Local Comic Shop Metal Edition. Also, we still have like 30 minutes, 45 minutes left on the exclusives, including the Instant Editions. I don't have any mock-ups here because those were the... Um, Hot off the press ones that they made, and those are already sold, so I have nothing to show, but I have the mock-ups for the Lady Death Lingerie Phoenix Edition, Lady Death Lingerie Naughty Phoenix Edition, and one of my favorites, I really just love this look, this is uh, Lady Death Dreams death o -Rama Edition, I just love that retro look to that book, it's very, very groovy art, folks, you heard me say it, groovy. One of the best slang terms they ever come out of the 60s, I think. So there you have it. We have less than an hour left to order these exclusives from Crucial Con. So if you haven't gotten your orders in, get it in by 5 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, which will be 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So lots of other really fun stuff we got coming up for you guys. Like I have an amounts it to make real quick. Um, so... Lately, eBay's been doing some crackdowns on content, and I was one of the stores hit. Uh, so um, we had we took out the naughty editions. They suspended the eBay store until probably Wednesday, so it'll be back up and going there possibly Tuesday. Um, but they can't tie us, and we're coming up with a plan on how to um, show off our, our naughty and risque editions. Um, so we're coming up with ideas. The eBay store will be back up by Wednesday. I'll be uploading some new stuff. Also, just shows, they're trying to keep down us bad boys. We ain't going nowhere. Coffin Comics is alive and well and growing, and we are going to crush. So, again, I don't even show bad content on our page or any photos. It's all very censored, just like you see on the webpage where everything's covered up. You don't see anything. 
Um, I even tried to go around it by not using the terms naughty or risque. Well, that didn't work either. So uh, I took them down so when you go to the eBay store, you may see some stuff missing. Message me, and I'm sure we can figure out a way to get you some content. But we've got some ideas coming down the road that I think will be much better. So stay tuned with some more information. Remember, everyone's trying to keep us bad boys down at Coffin Comics. We won't stand for that. We rise up and come up with something new. So real quick, um, we've been doing warehouse finds for the last whole month of Oct uh, September. We're not in October yet. So I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff we've just uploaded for the final one, week four of warehouse finds. Lots of cool metal cards. So if you guys are metal card collectors, scoop these up because a lot of this stuff is going quick. This is from Blast Me Anthem. This is the Dragoness edition by Jesse Witchman. This is a fully metallic card. We have limited stocks, so what you see sometimes might be it. Um, but things are flying out quick. This uh, warehouse finds um, has been going on all month. A lot of this stuff that we put up, I couldn't even show you last week because they were sold out before I could even get my hands on a copy just to show you what we had. So I do my best for you people because I love you all. No, you can't good. Thank you, Bob. You can't keep a good fiend down. Bloody eBay. Yes, thank you, Haley. That's what I said, but I had other colorful metaphors that I don't think would be appropriate to say out here. But this is the uh, Executioner. Another gorgeous metallic card. This is John Boy Myers. John Boy Myers. We have a few of these. Get them, guys. Get them. Once the metallic cards are gone, we only made uh, anywhere between uh, serial numbers of 99 to 199 on a lot of uh, metallic cards. So... If you've been wanting to try something really unique to add to your collection, I recommend the metal cards. They are really fun. They are very cool. Um, and, yeah, these things are just badass. Real quick, we have also the Gauntlet. This is the homage from Lady Death Blasphemy Anthem. So we have some of these available right now. Go ahead and click on the link uh, for the Coffin Comic Shop. Click on the uh, Warehouse Finds link too, and that'll take you to where you need to go uh, and to get uh, all the other beautiful things that we're gonna be offering. And like I say, a lot of these things are selling out quick. All right, next. This is a really stunning metallic card. This is the, um, oh geez, what it used to be the hardcover for Legend. But now, I don't go. We are now calling this, this is the Apocalypse. This is a metal card. This is a beautiful piece. Brian can sign this stuff too, guys. I've seen Brian. I'm surprised Brian hasn't started signing rice. He can write so many small signatures. So check it out, check it out, check it out. Hey, hello, sir, joining us for the first time. Another, here's a Hell Witch one. This is the Risqué Hot Blooded. Jesse Witchman again. These are metal cards. Metal back, metal fronts, metal, metal, metal. Another thing for the warehouse find is the risque and slippery hell witch. These are metal cards, guys. Metal cards, metal cards, metals. We're all about the metal at this place. Heck yeah. Some other really gorgeous, gorgeous warehouse finds for the metallic cards including Content, Pao Paolina, look at that, gorgeous. Go, Cemetery, Muerta metal card. These are all the warehouse finds, folks. Just click on the link. Join up if you're interested in Crucial Con stuff. You have about half an hour or less. Make sure, oh, no, you got 45 minutes exactly to get Crucial Con items. This is the Grindhouse, La Muerta Metallic Card. Very beautifully rendered image. I actually think this is one of my favorite covers for the La Muerta um, Kickstarter Descent. I really like that image. Also, we have Haunted, another beautiful metallic card. 
these are cool. Now, yeah, I've seen some people um, at um, Fiend Fest that get um, some jewels put on the uh, metallic cards, so they can be jeweled. All right. The Barrio Batman is in the house. We have the local metal card. Only 66 of this one is made. So that's it. 66. Once they're done, that's it. They go away. That is the local metallic card. Another beautiful La Muerta card. This is Maria. Beautiful. Richard Ortiz is the artist. Just beautiful. So these are all the warehouse finds. This is just samplings, guys. There's a lot of more stuff on there on my list. Um, but I was completely, we're completely sold out of them. So some other cool, cool stuff that are on the warehouse finds. The La Muerta Ascension incentive cover. Another really cool find, guys. I think they have one of these, maybe two, but they have the Ascension Legends set. Eric Basaluda. This is a three pack, $3.99. This is in warehouse finds. So they got a couple of these, maybe one. I know it's very limited quantity, so scoop it up. If you've been wanting to get a legendary set, there's a La Muerta one waiting for you at Coffin Comics Shop. Check it out, check it out. Cool little warehouse finds for Hell Witch. There's the Hellborn Mega Incentive Edition by Genevieve Brumont. Really stunning piece. I love the skulls on that. I need to get me some ram skulls that look like this for my house. It'll match all the other skulls we have. Matt Calhoun, thank you for joining us. I hope you're having a heck of a good Monday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hellwood Shellborn Incentive. These are all the warehouse finds. Click on the link and that'll take you to them. Some of these editions are selling out, folks. Warehouse finds, the numbers are shrinking. Some other cool stuff for the Warehouse Finds, uh, Nightmare Symphony Secret Edition. Now, I put these on the eBay store, but they were all the Nick and Dents. These are the beautiful ones. These are not Nick and Dent. These are beautiful, beautiful copies that were found in the warehouse. Mike Chrome is the artist. Get them while we got it. I don't think these are going to last long at all. So click on the link and go ahead and do your shopping. This is the Nightmare Symphony Secret Edition. It's available on Kickstarter previously. Another really cool warehouse find is Lady Death Oblivion Kiss First Appearance of Demonica. That is a very beautiful piece by Sabine Rich. These are warehouse finds, guys. Click on the link to pick the items you like. Also, um, if you would like your book signed by Brian, um, there is an option on there. Just go ahead and do your shopping. You're like, oh wow, I really like that uh, La Muerta Ascension incentive collection. I'm gonna order it. When you click on the item, it'll also say, hey, do you want your book signed, unsigned, CGC graded, everything you need to, extras you wanna do, we can take care of right there. So these are some of the cool warehouse find stuff. Um, there is this Friday, we are going to be putting up some of the uh, newest, uh, what's left of the La Muerta Retaliation Kickstarter. Let's see what we got there. Let me tilt this back up a bit. There we go. Scott Smith, thank you for joining us. I hope you're having a good Monday. Also, guys, coming up in two weeks, Hell Witch Sacrilegious Kickstarter starts. Two weeks. The amazingly talented Mike Mayhew is our cover artist for the legendary sets. Stunning. He knocked it out of the park again. Thank you very much, Mr. Mayhew. I've known uh, Mike as long as I've known Brian, 25, 26 years now. Man is always a professional, very nice guy, very talented artist. So I'm really glad we get to work with him again. So what I'm about to bring out on camera is stuff that's going to go live this Friday morning at 9 a.m. 
this Friday morning at 9 a.m., these items will go live. The La Muerta Retaliation Jewel Edition. And these are made with Schwarzkiev crystals. Right here where the bullet, right up here with the nice, warm, hot lead chambers flying out of the gun. Just an awesome piece. This will go live Friday morning. This is La Muerta Retaliation Jeweled Edition. Going live on Friday, Coffin Comic Shop. Also, La Muerta Retaliation. This is the premier soft cover. Look at that beautiful red foiling lettering. Got our chapter six break on there. Beautiful feast. This will go live Friday, 9 a.m. From where to retaliation items from Kickstarter, the items that are left, we'll put them on the comic shop. Another cool item on Friday we will be adding. Any of you Dan Mendoza fans, we have the La Muerta Retaliation. This is the Grindhouse sets. There's the Mama Z and the La Muerta. Mama Z's uh, got a little slippage, so I can't show you. Swarski, Swarski, Swarski. I need more vodka. Thanks, Haley. <laughs> Between you and Miguel, you guys are goobers. Just a bunch of goobers. So this is a two-pack. This goes live Friday morning, 9 a.m. at the Cotton Tonic Shop. Click on the links. Wow. All right, see if there was any questions. Well, did I say it right, Haley, or what? You guys going to leave me hanging? I hope I said it right. And I didn't have vodka this time, so <laughs> if it didn't come out right, well, I'm on the clock, so no vodka for me. <laughs> All right, this is a really cool set. Joel Gomez, Lady Death Retaliation, La Muerta Deadly Duo. You have the La Muerta cover. Joel Gomez. This is a two-pack set that will be available Friday. And there is the Mama Z. Two-book set. This goes live at the Coffin Comic Store. Or coffee comic shop Friday morning, 9 a.m. Uh-oh. No, nope. no, nope, nope, she doesn't want to do it, but you're actually on brand today. I am always on brand. Well, you're wearing black. Shh. You're wearing black. Shh. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Everyone knows right now. We're live. <laughs> Everyone, Brandy's wearing black today. Yay! Let's see. Oh, just there. oh she's wearing her Cobra Cry. Cobra Kai. Oh, Not Cobra cry. Kai shirt? Well, sometimes you can cry. Oh, and she's got the black leggings. And see, I got my chucks, Miguel. Oh, you got the black chucks. That was for you, Miguel. And my yellow socks to match my yellowness in here. The yellowness in there? In your belly? In my belly. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Swarovski. 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 So Swarovski. Okay, I'll figure it out. Um, if anyone, I do take donations of um liquid spirits and what have you um so if anyone wants to make a donation well anyways so that was lovely brandy i just was shocked she's actually wearing all black today thank you bob swarovski <laughs> uh, i'll get it one of these days i know i will i know i will and uh thank you guys for uh getting me the uh hooked on phonics Coffin Comics fan edition, so always love it. It's always make me happy. I'm always happy when a Monday's coming along and I get to talk to all the sworn and the fiends. Another thing that will go live Friday morning, La Muerta Retaliation, the hardcover by Diego Bernard. This is an awesome image. Marie's got the guns blazing. You know what? I almost wish we could have a special guest appearance by Chow Young Fat. His killer character, that would be badass in a perfect world. So this is an item that will be going on sale Friday, 9 a.m. All the La Muerta Retaliation Kickstarter items that are left.
another beautiful homage. This one by Jesse Witchman, who um, I don't think's done a massage, uh, massage, <laughs> done a homage edition for us before, but this is the La Muerta Retaliation homage. <laughs> Thank you, Daryl. <laughs> All right, it's the homage to Desperado. Another great movie by Mr. Rodriguez. All right, next up, another thing that will be going live on Friday, Retaliation, La Muerta, hollow foil edition. I think we make some of the coolest hollow foil covers around. All of these. Jay Taylor, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you today? I hope you're having a good Monday, but I hope you had a better weekend. This is the hollow foil. This goes live on Friday, 9 a.m. Jay Taylor's in the house. Everyone say hi, Jay Taylor. Ha! That was for you, Jay. Hope I didn't freak you out too much. Ha ha! Look at that. What a beautiful community we got here. And you guys are just some of the sweetest group of people in comics right here. Another item that will be going up. This is another two book set. This is La Muerta pinups. This is the La Muerta Mexi Noir edition. These will go live on Friday. Joe Gomez is the artist. Boom, here's the other one. Mama Z and the Aztec Murders. Death danced inside her. This is awesome. Very cool. Yep, Jay Taylor. Um, all of this stuff um, will go live Friday at 9 a.m. at the Cotton Comic Shop. Sounds like, Jay, you got a nice round of applause for everyone. Everyone's happy to see you. I'm happy to see you. Because we're all beautiful people in this house. Also, some of the uh, La Muerta prints, 11 by 17 prints, will go up for sale as well. Boom. These are all 11 17 prints. These will go live on Friday, 9 a.m. All the La Muerta Kickstarter stuff. Oh, this is an amazing image. This is the Reaper. Monty Moore. Look at that. I showed this image to my dad. My dad's, um, I don't think, touched comics since like the early 80s. Um, so I showed him this image and I was like, this is the cover for uh, one of our next editions. And he was really impressed. He's like, wow, that imagery is really striking. And, um, he was very impressed with that image and as the fact that he wanted two copies of the book. Which I was like, oh, pop. Oh, pop. Gotta love the man. 1117 homage print. These go live on Friday. Now, a lot of our Kickstarter stuff are numbered editions. So some of this stuff that I'm showing you now on Friday may go quickly. So set your alarms, get ready to go. This is the Fiesta cover. It's 11 by 17 print. These go live. Haley, I agree with you. That is, it's a real powerful uh, cover. I really love the imagery. Also, we still have the commemorative prints available. There is the retaliation commemorative, and then there, there is the naughty retaliation. I'm not going to go all the way down, so, you know, people get offended. And, you know, like on eBay, they have a little hissy fit. Even though you don't show anything. Whatever. They put us in eBay jail, but that's all right. We're breaking out of the eBay jail. We're coming back, clawing back, fighting, fighting. <laughs> I lost my mind. All right, I just need to take a quick sip of water real quick. I am very, very thirsty. Yes. You know what, Daryl Johnson, for that com I'm going to bring you on. I, I like that comment. That is very true. That is very true, Daryl. I want to see if I can bring you on. Let's see. Let's bring Daryl on. Let's see if we can get Daryl on. Come on, thing. Populate. 
Let's, let's see. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum, bum. Come on. Ah. Where's the tequila? Well, um, tequila's at home. I will not be having tequila today. Hmm. You know what? Uh, let's see. Okay, well, you know what? Let's see. Let's add Bob. I'm gonna, I'm, I wanna see some Santa Bob. On camera. Oh, Jay. Yeah, dude, you and me both. La Marta is my favorite uh, book we published, too. Here comes Bob. It's the one and only Bob. Let's see if we can get him on. Will the internet gods smile upon us? There he is! Yeah! What's up, Bob? What's happening? How was your weekend, dude? Uh, it was good till Sunday, and Sunday it pretty much sucked. Oh, well, it was good till Sunday because like, you got ill, correct? Yeah, I had to go to the emergency room. Uh, got diagnosed with uh, pneumonia. Walking pneumonia? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's not fun. I, no. I've had that before. Well, yeah. you have color in your face. You look healthy. I'm glad to see you're looking good, man. It's good to see you. Thanks, man. Good to good yeah. Yeah, it's good to have you on. I saw I saw your post, and I was like, well, let's bring Bob on because, well, he's a great guy to interview. And, you know, everyone's like Bob Claus, so I figure everyone needs to see your face and wish you well. And look at this guy. Look at that handsome devil with those piercing blue eyes. <laughs> so what's new with you, Bob? Uh, nothing. I just picked up, like, uh, 15 German editions. Nice. <laughs> from my sellers over in Germany. And I should be getting those pretty soon. Um, I just, I've got a care package coming from France that I didn't know about, a, a gift. Nice. And um, let's see, what else? I saw, I did the crowd docs for uh, uh, the Kickstarter today. Yep, those all went out today. Thank you very much for getting that done properly. And um, so other than that, just, uh, you know, I had an idea because, you know, with your, with your Facebook uh, or not, uh, I'm sorry, Bay issues, yeah. have you ever thought about doing uh, a live sale kind of like uh, Jesse James does? Well, we're actually coming up, uh, we were brainstorming about it this, uh, this morning, me and Jimmy and Brandy. We've got some ideas. It's just, okay, let's see what we can do to bring it together and try something different. But, yeah, because it was all of a sudden, I finally reached out to them. I was like, hey, um, I'm not showing anything. I don't even say curse words on anything. But, yeah, they, uh, they didn't want to hear it. Yeah, uh, you, know, you know how they are, dude. That's true, but it's like some of the stuff they took down was stuff we've had up since we opened the eBay store. So it's like, what what's going on? Why am I being singled out? They let me know they're actually going around doing it to a bunch of sellers. So yeah, if they well, haven't gotten some, they'll be getting them later. So so we'll just change uh, change things around and do it the way they want, but we're still going to do it our way. Hey man, improvise, overcome, and adapt. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm definitely getting some uh, some thinking on it, but we're we've got some ideas that we just came up today, and hopefully uh, we get everything uh, our ducks in a row. We can just conquer and dominate like normal. Because coffin never disappoints. Thank you. Well, we try our best. We always give us our best all the time. Uh, this weekend was a lot of fun. What was uh, one of the reveals this weekend that blew you away or got you all pumped? Um, I liked both the live editions. Yeah. I always enjoy that. Um, and then I liked the um, the cosplay stuff. The um, the video with um, um, Sapphire Nova. Yes. And then the interview with uh, Ireland. Yes. Um, real, really good stuff. I like the uh, the 2021 business plan. 
Yeah. Do you like the event ideas? Yep. Yeah, I'm pumped. I'm excited. It, it sucks when you know this stuff way ahead of time and you can't tell anybody for months. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, people will ask me, hey, what's new? And it's like, <laughs> I'd love to tell you, but I can't. <laughs> but you know, to keep you guys all excited. Jason Hart and I were talking today, and I guess over the weekend, they announced that uh, they're still planning on uh, doing Swarm Fest. No, uh -huh. um, but I guess we're still not sure if they're going to allow international travel yet. Oh, that's right. That's right. That sucks. That would be. And you know, I mean, to me, and it's not like I have any influence or anything, but allow international travel then I you know and I'll probably get get hate mail for this but I say we postpone it until they can because it's not fair to those overseas who want to come take part in it yeah yeah no I agree those, those people um actually I mean a lot of my fake customers I'm getting a lot of European people and um it was a wonderful family I uh, uh, met from France and I was hoping to see him for Swarfest so I I I hope it's back to normal. So that we what it could be. It's about all the worldwide coming together, having a good time. So we got our fingers crossed. I figure we still got months. Uh, you know, what we're in uh, September, October. We still got another four, four, four months now. Yeah. Jeez, wow! I remember it was thinking like forever when we first announced it. <laughs> yeah. Now it's like. Uh, it seems like it's right around the corner. Yeah. So, yeah, I haven't heard of it. Everything gets figured out. It'll be announced. But I know we're still going. Well, still go if I know, you, you know, we all know Brian, and Brian's always going to do what's, what's best for everybody. Yes. And like that, and what, I mean, whatever. I heard, and that's one thing I love uh, working with. So, um, you know, yeah. fun and exciting, and he tries to make it so it's inclusive for everyone. Brian explained it to me once and said he tries to make it, he tries to make it like an ACDC record. Yes. It's a good time, it's a rowdy time, and you're going to have I agree. I, uh, that, that is a very good statement. Well, Bob, I'm going to let you go. I'm glad you're doing well. Everyone, Thanks, let's man. send your well wishes, prayers, and good thoughts to Bob. We want him to get better. You look great, dude. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're looking good. Thank you for letting us know. Thanks, brother. Thanks for inviting me on. Anytime. You have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later, Bob. You too, man. Take care. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, guys, we got enough time to do a little recap. And that was been uh, you know what, Jay? Yeah, that whole interview with the artists and everything was a lot of fun to watch. Um, Like those instant editions are a blast to watch and then watching the whole process done and then getting an edition out to you less than 24 hours or within 24 hours is mind blowing to me that, you know, we were able to get those three versions out as quickly as we can. But if Brian can pull miracles, he'll pull miracles out of his hat. That's for sure. So real quick, everybody. Um, thank you very much for crucial con. We got about 20 minutes. Let me see if there's uh anyone interested and want maybe pop on real quick um i don't know who's is there no, you know what jay i'm gonna add you on jay come on jay join us join the fun join the fun, join the fun with us jay Taylor. come on jay join us if you want you don't have to i'll just send you an invite because I
I like to, uh, you know, chat with you all. Sometimes I only see the comments. Is it working? Is it working? Can we get it to work? Let's see if the phone's going to work. Babe. Of course not. There he is. What's hey, up? Hey, there he is. What's up, man? How are you? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, man? How are you today? I'm here. Good. Good. How was your Lounging weekend? about, hanging out. Yeah? Did you have a good weekend? Yeah, not too bad, man. Uh, hung out with the uh, with the family and the and the granddaughter and my daughter and nice. kids. How's your daughter, the granddaughter? My granddaughter will be five next week. Oh, that's a fun age. That's a real yeah. fun age. Uh, the, yeah. the ages between, like, after they get out of the terrible twos and on, it's really fun because they're just forming their own personalities and they're a hoot. So, yep. you're she's a blessed a, guy. She's a piece of work, man. Good. Congratulations, Thank you. man. That's always a good feeling. So, tell me, uh, you watched us on Crucial Con. Were you able to watch the whole thing? Oh, yeah. I watched, uh, I watched a good portion of it. Um, as you can, as you probably saw, I'm, I'm a bit obnoxious at times, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I, I got to catch quite a bit of it, man. I, I really liked those, uh, those live, uh, those live, uh, broadcasts. Those were really, really cool, man. And, uh, getting to, getting to watch the, uh, the Joel Gomez, uh, interview man he's one of my favorite artists so <clears throat> that was really cool yeah Joe Gomez um, I came in one morning and uh, there was a Godzilla uh, La Muerta cover sketch that he did for me that was waiting for me on my desk yeah I, I was freaked I, out I saw you I saw you had uh you had shown that one day man I was insanely jealous dude that was cool I, I that was a, such a pleasant surprise Let's see real quick hey Aaron I actually, those are just my lights. Um, but if you'd like, I'm going to bring down the glare you're seeing on the cameras, on uh, the books, and I'll sit them down and um, do a slow pan for you. And everything you see here will be available. All the La Muerta retaliation stuff, Aaron, will be available Friday. And everything else is a warehouse find. So I'll go ahead and do a little scan of things for you as well. I talk to uh, my buddy here. So, on the reveals, what was the one thing you found most exciting or the one thing you were like, I can't be without that, or this is the news that I was wondering about? Um, for me, it's the, uh, the, 2020, uh, the 2020 plan, man. That, that just, the whole, the whole thing is just awesome. Oh, the crossover it, it we're really doing. Is. And it, it, it's, I'm really looking forward to... Uh, to seeing them all kind of converge and uh, and get into into one one thing. Yeah, that uh, when uh, Brian started telling because when I started here, you know, I was a, I'm a big La Muerta fan. I was just like, you know, is is her character and Lady Death ever going to meet? And he said, Yeah, we're actually slowly creating this world, and now to see it come into fruition <clears throat> has just been amazing. All right. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be neat how uh, some of these characters will interact with one another, uh, especially the yeah. picture. You know, will they get along after all this is done? Will they be like, you know, you know, uh, you know, will they stay together as teams? You know, it, it's going to be neat to see how we grow as a company with these characters. Yeah, um, I'm curious to see how uh, La Muerta plays out in the whole scheme of things, you know, she's not, she's not, you know, she doesn't have the powers of, you know, Lady Death or, yeah. you know, Devil Up or Hell Witch or anybody like that. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of role she plays in the whole thing. See, that's the thing I was curious about too. I was like, wow, we're putting La Muerte in this mix. And I, I'm just like, wait a minute, you know, she doesn't really have powers, does she? So it's always been that kind of like, well, does she have powers? Because she's taken some pretty nasty licks and come back fighting. Yeah, she has. <laughs> I'm just like, oh my God. I, I remember the first time reading the La Muerta graphic novel. I was thinking, oh my God, did we just kill off the character? What are the other two stories about? I, I was like, oh my I, God. 
when I first read the uh, the first book, yeah, and then uh, when you know Mama Z's crew comes in and just kills her whole family, you know, including her, I was like, that was yeah. quick. Yeah, that's. I was like, well, okay, I, th there's got to be more than this. I got. I still got another thirty pages of graphic novel to read. <laughs> it, it's been it's been great though, man. I I I love the book. The book is fantastic. I do too. It, it's I, I always look forward to a new chapter of La Muerta. Um, it's the one thing I just get all hyped on. Um, I still need to read, uh, get my hands on a retaliation copy. So I'm going to try to scoop one up this week. Um, that is, that's an action packed yeah. book, man. Yeah. Well, I remember watching, uh, Joel was here and she just showing some of the, the sketches and the art. Uh, I think it was around Fiend Fest. It was just like, oh, my God. He's just like, and he apologized. He's like, oh, no, I didn't put you. You're a crew member now. I'm like, well, you didn't know. You, you started working on this way before I started working here. <laughs> so I don't need to be in no picture. So I got I got a uh, a pretty cool piece from, uh, from Joel uh, right after Retaliation, the Retaliation Kickstarter uh, finished. Um, oh, he had done get? a sketch that it just says thank you. And it's got uh, it's got La Muerta hanging on the, uh, basically leaning up against the uh, the big thank you sign and uh, nice. He wound up he sent it to me. Yeah, he's a he's a heck of a nice guy. Yeah, man, he is he is awesome. Good people. So, what part of the world do you live in with uh, with the rest of us savages? I'm in Kansas. Nice. How's Kansas been for you? Uh, quiet. I grew really? up. Uh, I grew up on the East Coast, outside of DC, and uh, I'm originally from New York City. So, living in Kansas is kind of the quiet life for me. <laughs> it it uh, it was funny. A friend of mine and I were talking over the weekend, and we're talking about like, "Hey, I remember when you're young, you want to live in the city, and stuff. The older you get, you just want to get away from it all. <laughs> you just like, I'm done with this. Absolutely. Thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. My wife and I, our dream is to, uh, whenever uh, I'm able to retire, uh, just get a Winnebago and travel the country and just see what, everything we've ever wanted to see. Yeah, that, that would, wouldn't be too bad either. I'm, although I'm more, of a, I'm more of a homebody now. Like I did all my, my partying and, you know, going and doing things when I was younger. And now I don't really want to go anywhere. I just want to hang out. <laughs> Drink, uh, drink right, a cup right, yeah. of coffee and relax. <laughs> Although I will say this, my wife and I used to go out dancing and clubbing at least once a month, and we've gotten the itch because it's been like over a year and a half since we have been able to do it. So we're like, uh, right. maybe when things go back to normal, we would go out, out dancing. I do miss dancing. It's always fun to do. So I don't. Everyone... I don't dance. But... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's find out. Not saying i can't i just don't <laughs> well you know what i i, I want to challenge you see you bust moves at sworn fest <laughs> oh. hey, let's just all do it we're there to have a good time right challenge accepted <laughs> all right brother i'll be right there dancing with you <laughs> right on, I, won't, I won't leave you hanging we'll do it together we'll have fun <laughs> so were you able to scoop up anything for the crucial con I was not, man. Uh, you know, bills and stuff hit, so it was kind of, yeah. you know, just didn't have the money. Um, I am grabbing a couple of things. I guess uh, Mendoza's doing something here uh, starting this week for uh, for breast cancer awareness, so I'm probably oh, going nice. to scoop up a couple of those things uh, in support of that and then waiting on the Hell Witch Kickstarter. Nice. That's cool that he's doing that. My uh, my uh, mother in law is dealing with that right now, so I'm I'm glad he's doing that. That's that's really good. So she's a tough lady, so I have a feeling um, she's gonna make it through. Okay, she's gonna make it. I know. Yeah, I'm it. I'm all about supporting something that that you know makes a difference. You know, Me if too. It, if it can somehow better humanity, then I'm all for it. You are a very sweet man, man. I'm glad we know you. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us, man, all the way to Kansas. Um, yeah, man, thanks for having say, me. Any shout-outs you want to say? Anything you want to say out to all the crowd? Keep shit evil. <laughs> thank you very much. You have a good one, brother. 
Take care, guys. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye. Everyone, the amazing Jay, the amazing Jay. All right, let's get this locked in. Think and but. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We're almost out of time. Um, let's see. Aaron, I hope uh, that slow pan where I brought everything down so the lights weren't flaring on it. Uh, I hope that helped you a bit. Uh, please message me at inquiries at coffincomics.com, Aaron, if you are uh, wanting any information on anything. Be more than happy to help you um, look at things or find things or, you know, help you discover that, that special collectible that we might have for you uh, that you're missing right now. So real quick, guys, uh, just a quick recap. Crucial Con was a lot of fun. We found out we got Hellwitch Sacrilege coming up in two weeks. Hey, Julian, do you know the Metal La Muerta? I don't know. I haven't seen it on the list. So, yeah, I don't know that one yet. Possibly, but on the list I was given to pull for items for the show, I didn't see there. So, um, not yet. So, check with us, Haley. I'll see if I can't find out something for you by next week. If not by Wednesday, pardon me. I have a sudden case of the burps and the hiccups at the same time. So if anyone had those, you know, they suck. But anyways, recap of today. On Friday, Haley was talking about the uh, La Muerta retaliation items. Um, the one she had mentioned, I have not seen on the list, but we'll see. But she's talking about the La Muerta retaliation Kickstarter items will go on sale at the Coffin Comic Shop this Friday. So if you missed out on the Jewel Edition, you didn't back us on Kickstarter, we've got a couple left. But once these editions are gone, guys, they're gone. Sorry. Um, that's just how it goes in the collectible business. The Mendoza 2-pack, La Muerta Grindhouse Edition. This is done by Mendoza. This will be available Friday, 9 a.m. La Muerta Retaliation soft cover goes available Friday, 9 a.m. You're welcome, Haley. Thank you. The more to retaliation. This is the Deadly Duo set by the great Joe Gomez. These will be available Friday, 9 a.m. Retaliation, retaliation. That's what it's all about. The more to retaliation Kickstarter items. Whatever's left, they are slowly starting to drop on Friday for everyone. That includes the prints um, and comics. So not everything's on there yet, but if you see something, don't delay. Take a look. Yeah. We, the La Muerta Mexi Noir, these go available on Friday in the morning. Check it out. It's a two-pack. Mamba Z and the Aztec Murder and La Muerta's Mexi Noir magazine. These are awesome. Really cool art by Joe Gomez. Another item coming up that will be available Friday morning. The La Muerta hollow foil for retaliation. Dude, those Mendoza's are sick. They're pretty cool. They're pretty slick. Um, it's a two pack and um, that Mendoza two pack becomes available on Friday. We even have some copies of the La Muerta retaliation. About 300 of these were made, and that's it. So once we sell out, after we offer it on the Coffin Comic Shop, that's it. It's gone. Will we do a reissue? I don't know. Maybe. Also, the last week of the September warehouse find, uh, finds dropped on Friday. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that's left. See, a lot of this is moving quick, guys. I was having problems uh, finding items to pull because they kept selling out. Like we still have the Risque and Slippery Hellwitch metallic card. Ooh, metal, metal, just like we are. Only 66 were made of the Loco. I pulled 62. So these are running out, guys. Normally we do 99, 199 on metallic cards. Well, we did 66 of this. So once it's gone, that's it. Game over, man. The Hellwitch. This is the Risqué Hot-Blooded. This will be available 
Friday morning, 9 a.m. Another Hell Witch Vitala card. These ones are going quick, guys. I'm running out of stock from these warehouse finds. The Gauntlet. Our homage to the Infinity Gauntlet. 199 were made. Scoop them up, guys. These are the warehouse finds for September. They're going, going. A lot of these are already gone. So you see it. Grab it. Don't delay. Make that choice today. The Executioner. John Boy Myers. This is the Metallic card. They're going quick, folks. We are going to be selling out of this stuff. Dragon S, Jesse Witchman, Metallic card. Still got a few of these left. Get them, get them, get them, get them. Yum, yum, give me some of them metal cards. We've got metal cards and the freaking rule. This is Content, Paul Petalina. This is a Metallic card. It was just offered Friday. Wait, I hear, I think I hear someone in the background. Could it be? Is it? Maybe? Uh, maybe I can bring him on in time. We run out of time. Maria? Really beautiful Richard Ortiz. This is a metal card, guys. Warehouse finds. Once it's gone, it's gone. There's another one, only 66 made. This is the La Muerta Cemetery. So, yes, get these while we got them, folks. These are warehouse finds for September. The final week was last Friday, so these are the last batches. The Muerta Grindhouse. Muerta Haunted. Metallic cards. Yum, yum, come get some. Yum, yum, come get some. All right. Hell Witch. Incentive. Hell Witch Hellborn Direct Market Incentive. Um, I believe I did, yes. I think I did, yes. I, I've been pulling prizes for lots of raffle stuff, Jay. I don't, I don't remember which ones I did it for. <laughs> oh, is, is that the resident badass in the background I'm hearing? <laughs> you don't have to go on camera if you don't want to. What's up, Julie? Not much, everybody. Resident Badass is in the house. You want to say a quick hi, Coop, before we shut it down for the day? Sure. Everybody, everyone's favorite badass, the Coop. You know what Hooligan has to say? He's got some good stuff. <laughs> I try. Thank you. Thank you. Well, everybody, that was just about it for today's show. I just got a couple more minutes. Like I say, everything I've been showing you guys is Warehouse Finds. Another big one, La Muerta Ascension Legend Set. I think there was about one or two of these left. That's it. Gone, gone, gone. It's three book set. Eric Basaluda. You get the Naughty. You get the Legend. And then you get the Noir. Scoop them up, guys. Only a couple of them. Another Warehouse Find. Lady Death. Nightmare Symphony. Secret Edition. The ones I had on eBay were the Nick and Dent. These are the Perfectionists. Perfections. These are beautiful books, folks. Warehouse finds. Get them while you got them because they won't be around forever. Check the time. All right. I got about a minute and a half. Real quick. La Muerta Ascension. This is the incentive edition. Warehouse finds. Click the link. Take you right there. Last but certainly never least, the Hell Witch, Hellborn, Mega Incentive Edition. These are the warehouse finds for September. Genevieve. Room law. Okay, uh, that'll be it for this week, guys. Thank you very much. I appreciate everyone uh, checking us out. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. I hope you're having an even better week. Remember, I'm Julian the Hooligan, and I'm sworn to you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for another great day at Coffin Comics and another great month. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you Monday. Hasta la bye-bye.